it represents. Order. Order. Right. You understand? You That's what it represents, brother. You're disorient. Oh, and you're ignorant and you're and a hypocrite. And lions you tell me there why do I pull my beard and you all other you breaking the same the law. Steps. You breaking the same law yeah. you accusing me of breaking. There was not like me in any now, kingdom. Now, how much of a nigga is that? Are you listening <laughs> what he's saying? And 12 lions. I taught him what he said. Like he aired for not the word. Word. I taught, I taught no. him. No. I taught him something productive. You coming at try to fight the research, it. brother. Go, go down. I cross reference the with history and archaeology. And you chapter 5. You know what race hates black people. Listen to this. This clown is going to, this clown down with Nate is going to uh, try to justify, you're going to try to justify the fact that you can uh, line your, 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 your back your head up, okay? Madness. Take you a shot, not you, you can make it. debated nothing with fools, man. Guess what, guess what you got to do? Take thee a barber's razor. Read that again, read that again. And thou, son of man. Take thee a sharp knife. Take thee a with the wrong one, man. Nah, nah, man. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know where they're at. And apply thy beard. And, the and, the and, and, the and, and, and take thee a sharp knife. Sit down and listen to these brothers. These brothers have a lot of knowledge. So our forefathers, they always, they always, they always groom their beard. You understand? And that's what happened to Is this dude, come back to me, man. Now, what did he, what did he just quote? Let's go to Ezekiel 5. Go ahead. Ezekiel 5. Hey, is this what you, Nate, is this what you teach these guys, man? Huh? Go ahead. Ezekiel 5 and 1. And thou, son of man, take thee a sharp knife, take thee a barber's razor, and cause it to pass upon thine head and upon thy beard. Then take thee balances to weigh and divide the hair. Thou shalt burn with fire a third part in the midst of the city when the days of the siege are fulfilled. And thou shalt take a third part and smite about it with a knife. And a third part thou shalt scatter in the wind and I will draw out a sword after them. Thou shalt also take thereof a few in number and bind them in thy skirts. Then take of them again and cast them into the midst of the fire and burn them in the fire. For thereof shall a fire come forth into all the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord power. This is Jerusalem. I have set it in the midst of the nations and countries that are round about her. And she hath changed my judgments into wickedness more than the nations and my statutes more than the countries that are round about her. For they have refused my judgments and my statutes. They have not walked in them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, because you multiply more than the nations that are round about you and have, wa and have not walked in my statutes, neither have kept my judgments, neither have done according to the judgments of the nations that are round about you. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, behold, I, even I am against thee and will execute judgment in the midst of thee in the sight of thee. Yeah, then let's go back to the top again. It says, and thou son of man, take thee a sharp knife, take thee a barber's razor and cause it to pass upon thine head and upon thy beard then take thee balances to weigh and divide the hair it's talking about all of his hair right. it ain't talking about shape getting the shape up right. right can't believe these damn that's why we get on you man just got damn madness that you're pushing go ahead Thou shalt burn with fire a third part in the midst of You're going to take the hair that you shaved off your head and off of your beard, and you shall split it up into three parts. Right. One third you're going to burn. All right? Read that, read that part again. Thou shalt burn with fire a third part in the midst of the city. One third you're going to burn. Go ahead. Uh, when, when the days of the siege are fulfilled, and thou shalt take a third part and smite about it with a knife. And you shall take another third, and you shall take a knife, and you shall chop at it. Go ahead. It, it has nothing to do with grooming your, your head. That's right. Madness, man. Go ahead. It says, and a third part thou shalt scatter in the wind. And a third part of your, you got one third that you burnt, the other third that you hacked at it with a knife, mm -hmm. and the other third part, which that's all your hair on your head and on your head and on your your beard, your 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 face, mm -hmm. and you shall scatter it in the in wind. the wind. God. 
Go ahead. And I will uh, and I will draw out a sword after them. Thou shalt also take thereof a few in number and bind them in thy skirts. Then take up them again and cast them into the midst of the fire and burn them in the fire. For here, for thereof shall a fire come forth into all the house of Israel. Now let's go from there to uh, Luke twenty-one twenty-four. Damn madness, man. Damn madness, man. Luke chapter 21, verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And that's the fulfillment of that, man. That's right. Because there were many times in history where Israel was scattered and so forth. And that was the main time that we read about during the time when Yahweh Shai came on the scene. Yeah. The hair and the beard represent the Israelites. Exactly. It's symbolic. Right. It has nothing to do with grooming your hair. Yeah, it has Madness. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28:64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And that goes back, sim- symbolically, that goes back to uh, uh, the, the prophet um, Ezekiel when the Lord told him to shave his head and his, and his beard, take one third, burn it. Take another third, chop at it with a knife. Take another third and throw it out into the wind. Because certain parts is going to be destroyed. And there's going to be one third that's going to be scattered. Uh, this is back in Ezekiel 5 and 12. A third part of thee shall die with the pestilence, and with the famine shall they be consumed in the midst of thee. And a third part shall fall by the sword round about thee. And I will scatter a third part into all the winds, and I will draw out a sword after them. All the winds <coughs> represent... Scattered throughout all the nations. So that has nothing to do with uh, grooming grooming your hair. You need to stop that, Nate. And you guys that are under Nate, you need to get from around that nigga. I got a precept for you. (laughs) This is the book of uh, Titus 1, 10, and 11. It says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, Especially day of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. That was an example that you just saw there with that uh, so called uh, Benjaminite <laughs> making that uh, uh, doctrine up, man. Talking about grooming. Talking about grooming. Yeah. So now you're going to say. Then if that's the case, let's say that's talking about grooming. <laughs> Wait a minute, let's go back to this. Let's, let's hear this again. Let's hear this madness again. See, when you go out there on the highways and the byways, man, the spotlight is on you, man. Yeah. yeah. The hot spotlight. <laughs> the hot, bright spotlight is on you at all times, man. Yeah, when you right. go out on the highways and the byways, or when you do it in that, in that cave that you're in, all right, that painted cave. <laughs> and you put a camera on there and you decide to put it on YouTube. Don't you know we're going to be watching it, man? 